Gordon Ramsay wine. Hello, welcome back. It's a new year, 2022. We're still going. <laughs> just. <laughs> just. <laughs> and what a great way to start the year by tasting celebrity wine. Celebrity wine. Who's a celebrity? Gordon Ramsay. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's he's up there. He is up there, celebrity. A nice, he's a nice, colourful chef. Colourful language. Language. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant by colourful. Yeah. So yeah. he's actually got a wine that we're going to have a look at now. Why this not? is an Italian wine, which is all right. Okay, now I don't know much about this, but if you were to purchase this, how much is this? Ten pounds Ooh. of your Earth pound. Ooh. So this, Gordon Ramsay. So what do you reckon? Well, should we just go straight in? Shall yeah, I have a little go, look yeah, at it? Yeah, yeah, go for right, it. Right, so this, this is, as you say, Waitrose. Ooh. Right, so just simply got his signature on there. Uh-huh. Okay, uh -huh, which means uh -huh. he's... Okay, he's, sign his checks. He's, <laughs> his checks, yeah, his check trousers. So there's a lot of description. Of, I've had a look at this before. Right. And there's not much information about the wine. It's more about the concept. Ooh, right, okay. So we're talking about why Gordon and this wine has come together. Right, okay. So multi-Michelin starred chef Gordon Ramsay has opened a string of successful restaurants across the globe. Yes, yes, yes. Selecting the wines to match his menus is as important to Gordon as perfecting the dishes themselves. Mwah. He has worked in partnership with renowned winemaker Alberto Antonini. He sounds Italian. He does. He doesn't, he doesn't sound from Romford. No, he doesn't, no. <laughs> to source these unique blends, this contemporary range of Italian table wines from some of the country's best wine-growing regions mm -hmm. combines Gordon's passion with the heart and soul of Italian winemaking. Cool. No. Soul. Oh, soul. Not cool. Yeah. Not cool. Soul. Pale straw in colour with notes of white flowers and aromas of fresh green apple, again, Right. And white peach. This wine is vibrant and juicy on the palate. Oh, okay. It has a refreshing acidity with a long mineral finish. Hi, Sven. Oh. And can be enjoyed with seafood risotto, yeah. which, which I do like. Yeah, yeah. You like or a seafood? fresh caprese salad. Which caprese, is Caprese, that's Italian as well, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. And salad is that green thing. It is, it's, isn't it? With leaves. Laden, <laughs> yeah. yeah, things. Goes well with food. Yeah. I'm excited because Gordon Ramsay has said this goes well with... And he would know about food, wouldn't he? And he, he? would. Seafood risotto. So oh, it's going to okay. be quite interesting for me. It's going to be light and not too in your yeah, in chops. Yeah, in the chops, in your face. It's going to be quite balanced. Okay, I let's reckon. do this. <coughs> oh, okay. Oh. Oh, limey, limey. Oh, excuse me. It's very smooth. It's smooth, but oh, complicated. <sighs> There's a lot actually going on there. You would not be drinking that by itself no when it says vibrant that's that's, that's an understatement of the year <laughs> just begun yeah yeah i think it's for me too much there's too much going on it's just like oh mamma mia <laughs> okay uh, i think that's a difficult one uh, i know it's above our price but it's celebrity wine gordon ramsay it's an interesting wine there's a lot going on so what would you rate that? If I was rating it on the wine myself, I think... It's in the 70s for me, and no disrespect to Gordon, because it's 10 quid. Oh, yeah. There's going to be some money. Quid. Yeah, 79 it's... then, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're going down to 79. Yeah, 79. Uh, I didn't mean to move you that way. But that for 10 pounds, we tasted some other wines that have been like 6 or 7 pounds. Yeah. So I can't... It's too, that's too high there. That's a 72. That's a 72 for you. Uh, I'm a, that's a 72, as I said. Oh, okay. no, no disrespect. Very, very good. I think, let's, let's do the reds for a while. I think that's this. Are they nice and warm? Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. going to okay. be. They're, cool. yeah, they're going to be warm. I'm sure they are. Gonna no, let's be, try a red next week. Yeah, try and, so yeah. everybody... I'll put the fire on. Yeah, put the fire on. Yeah. So everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In the meantime, though, before you think you've drunk too much, don't forget, put a cork in it.